Welcome back to Instables, everyone. Again, going over our daily plan on exactly how I plan on playing into the SPY. This is going to be a recap on the whole week, as you guys can see, with the momentum candle to the downside after today's non-farm payrolls. What exactly are we expecting going into next week, and what are we anticipating leading into next Thursday? I'm going to go over all this with you guys. Now, before I jump into this, but you guys can do me a huge favor. Smash that like button if you find this video useful at all. Hit subscribe if you want to see my daily plan on exactly how I plan on playing into the market every single day. We go over candle structure, overall strength, levels, and any key key indicators that we need to be focused on and again if you are a day trader or you are looking for very volatile breakouts that we mention every single day in the instables and again we mention any breakout that is worth looking at throughout the day go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again So jumping into the daily chart with you guys here on the spot, I'm going to go over our overall strength. But just to recap on the last five days of trading, as you guys can see, again, with two jobs reports coming out Monday and Friday, worse than expected, showing us anticipation on a possible and only a possible Fed pivot. And as you guys can see, with that possible and only possible Fed pivot, as you guys can see, we had two data sets coming out Wednesday and Thursday above what we were expecting. And as you guys can see, with the most important of them, all that we were looking for today with non-farm payrolls, higher than expected, having a major pullback because that does give Jerome Powell room for a possible continuation on increases in Fed rate hikes. Now we have next week's CPI coming out on Thursday. We have also next Wednesday's Fed minutes coming out. We're going to see exactly what the Feds have to say, but next week's CPI will be very key. Our prior CPI was at 8.3. So we're looking to see if we do continue on lower below 8.0, at least in my opinion, if we're going to be looking for a bounce for the Feds to possibly listen to our inflation report. Again, the key to these jobs reports and inflation reports is that Jerome Powell for the last few meetings has mentioned that he wants a continuation on bad jobs reports and a continuation on decreases in inflation so again that is what we're looking for leading into next week cpi is going to be our next inflation report coming in next thursday so keep an eye out for that now looking at our candle structure here as you guys can see with this momentum candle the downside after testing our 20 day getting a rejection and then having this momentum candle close below and testing our lows that we had just before we were anticipating this possible fed pivot with jobs reports coming out as you guys can see now we are testing a very key level lows of the year again last week's lows of the year was at 360 and then we did drop just into newer lows here at about 357 so looking to see if we do continue on below 357 or possibly bounce back leading into next week's cpi on thursday now looking at our overall strength here we have been looking to see if we can get our email lines to cross we have been looking for that increase in buy pressure we did get that increase in buy pressure having more pressure to the upside for the last couple days than to the downside however testing our 20 day moving average as we have been looking for as a possible rejection point and as you guys can see sure enough getting that rejection with today's non-farm payrolls again our anticipation leading into next week's cpi will be very key as far as which momentum we do get to the upside now looking at the rsi as far as if we do have room to run to the downside as you guys can see we do have our divergence again getting higher lows as we are oversold here as we were getting lower highs here on our price action showing us those divergence here so again nice divergence as we were getting lower highs here on our price action getting higher lows on our rsi is exactly what we were looking for and that's exactly what happened and as you guys can see here also testing the lower end of a channel that we have been tracking as you guys can see testing exactly on the lower end of our channel here that we have been tracking as you guys can see we had a false breakout again mentioned this yesterday that we were leading into cpi with a possible decrease in cpi we had that anticipation we took away that anticipation when we got higher of a cpi than expected and as you guys can see we mentioned yesterday anticipation with that possible non farm payroll coming out lower than expected as a possible fed pivot that still was not guaranteed and we did get a higher than expected non-farm payroll now one thing i will say as in my opinion as a secret is that don't forget to keep next non-farm payrolls on watch it's going to be very key we could have a major decrease in non-farm payrolls which could be a spike to the upside at that point so keep that in mind but however again taking away our anticipation like we had previously leading into cpi is exactly what happened today so looking to see if we will continue on into lower lows as we have a possibility of anticipation leading into cpi next week maybe with a possible bounce maybe we consolidate just above lows of the year or maybe we do continue on into newer lows and then we possibly bounce here at 340 going to next week again 340 is our next level that we are looking for to the downside if we are looking for a level here 
here. We do want to see if we can bounce at 340 again. This is exactly our point here that we had just before we did continue on out of our pre-pandemic levels. And as you guys can see, just below that is our next strongest level at our pre-pandemic levels at 324. So again, 340, 324 are the very next levels that we are looking for if we do continue on lower. Now looking over at the monthly chart again, we mentioned this yesterday. If you guys have been tracking this with me, as you guys can see, we did have an inside body candle coming in, but we mentioned yesterday that we could end with a large wick to the upside, a possible major rejection. And as you guys can see now closing just below our 50 day moving average as we took away that anticipation of a possible Fed pivot. Again, that was only a possible Fed pivot that the Feds would still have to have considered and actually have done. So again, this is only anticipation that we had for the last few days. And as you guys can see, getting that rejection and now sitting on an inverted hammer here again, not a closed inverted hammer here. We are still moving within the month. We still could continue on with a possible bounce on our 50 day moving average. If we do continue on, for example, with a major decrease in CPI next week and the Fed starts to talk about a possible Fed pivot, then of course we can continue on higher from here. However, at this point, as you guys can see, we do have an inverted hammer technically, and we are going to make sure we are careful leading into next week. We could continue on lower with this inverted hammer. This is a rejection to the upside, possibly again, after this momentum candle, the downside sitting on what's called a kiss of death. We need to make sure we are careful. And as you guys can see on the monthly chart with no decreases in sell pressure quite yet, we will know when there's a possible chance of that reversal. When we do get at least one white shitted line here on the monthly chart, again, when we get a white shitted line on the monthly chart, then that's when you will be looking for that possible reversal. Until then, we are going to be careful. We are pointing down. We are not curling back up here on our email lines for a possible bounce either. So we are going to be careful. And lastly, looking at the dollar again, the DXY or looking at the UUP, as you guys can see on the DXY, we have been tracking this on the daily chart. As you guys can see, we got an engulfing candle on Wednesday showing us that we were respecting our 50 day moving average here. And as you guys can see, continuing on higher yesterday. And we were looking to see if we were going to continue on with strength. And sure enough, we did get some strength today. As you guys can see, we are testing exactly that level that I mentioned from yesterday that we would be testing just under it. So looking to see if we do get any type of rejection from here, maybe we possibly continue on with doji candles coming out here and then we get a possible continuation on lower here with our 20 day curling down here. That's what I'll be looking for as far as a possible rejection on the dollar. So that way we do have more pressure to the upside on the S&P. However, with that said, we do have a continuation on decreases in sell pressure on the dollar at this point. We are looking to see if we can continue on with buy pressure at this point. So again, with the momentum, to the upside at this point in the dollar. I definitely would be careful looking for that bearish setup on the dollar as we are leading into next week's CPI will be very key. Again, if we get a major decrease in CPI, then I can imagine that the dollar does break down and that we do get that bearish setup that we would be looking for. But again, till then, making sure we are careful playing to the upside, in my opinion, on the S&P until we do get a bearish setup on the dollar is exactly what we'll be looking for. Now, again, with that said, another market can be very choppy. If you guys are day traders or you are looking for very volatile breakouts that we mention every single day we mention every breakout that is worth looking at throughout the day go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout like today again and again all of you instables that come over every single day and support the channel i hope you guys do have a blessed weekend again just letting the plays come to us i know we had a pullback it didn't feel any better than we did last week when we were pulling back i know we have now that anticipation that we have from last week since we did not get that jobs report we were looking for today however again just letting these discounts come to us in my opinion there's going to be a lot of opportunity to come and we'll know exactly when the market bounces back here on the channel again just staying patient and taking what the market gives us as we do every single day in the instables room again if you guys do like this video it does help the channel grow and i do appreciate it very much and again god bless you all and i'll see you guys in the next video